Gamer outrage is a thing on the internet, right? A lot of times it's people yelling into the void or into an echo chamber about something they don't like about a game that they love. And sometimes it is justified and other times it's not so much. But other times though, it actually can be beneficial to the community as a whole. And that just happened with Escape from Tarkov. If you're unaware of what's happening with the insane greed that's going on with Battlestate games and Escape from Tarkov, well, let me get you caught up. Now, expensive, arguably overpriced versions of games when it comes to the releases of pre-orders and things like that have been in the game industry, well, for a very long time. Normally you get some extra bonuses, some collectible items and things like that, but sometimes game developers like to just gate content from their players just because it will get them more money. For example, we talked about it here on the channel about the Star Wars Outlaws Double Plus Good Edition, right? Which actually locks a crucial mission within the game for $120 or $110, like that's a lot of money for just some simple missions that are very crucial to the gameplay experience. So when I see Battlestate Games selling a $250 version of Escape from Tarkov, I'm thinking, okay, it's probably one of those things where it's just like, yeah, little additional bonuses, some cool little things for people just to enjoy if they're really big fans of the game, but it seems to not really be the case and also that they kind of took a step back on their own word from a previous expensive version of Escape from Tarkov. And that's why this is a story. Because previously there was the Edge of Darkness edition worth $100 and said it included a season pass which promised access to all future DLC. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Because this $250 version grants you access to their new PvE co-op mode coming into the game. Not even the $110 version gives you this option either. But the thing is, is that that previous version stated that you get DLC, future DLC with that expansion pack. And it seems like the developers of Escape from Tarkov are utilizing some technical language to get around this issue of promising future DLC with a previous expensive expansion. Saying that it's not DLC, but a new addition that's being added to the game and that it's a PvE additional mode, which is a feature, not downloadable content. I don't know, I think if you download something that's made by developers onto your game, that feels like it's something that's like a bit of content you can play in that's downloadable. I don't know, call me crazy on that. Also, did you know that roughly 65% of you people who are watching this channel are not subscribed? If you want to keep up to date with everything going with gaming, make sure you do. Let's get right back into those details. But people are also saying that this unheard edition, the $250 edition, has pay to win mechanics with it as well. Which not only do you get a larger stash, a significantly larger stash, but also you get increased fence standing. So what is that you might ask? It means that those players won't be shot by AI scavengers if they have a certain reputation level. Basically making it so that some of the AI characters just won't shoot you as often or maybe not at all because you paid into the double plus good edition. So understandably, the community is outraged about this entire thing. This is reaching also just beyond the Tarkov community, but also just the gaming industry in general of uh, showcasing greed taking over their games. And the community is so upset about this entire situation that they've actually gone to their Discord, the official Discord of Escape from Tarkov, and basically flooded it with all these negative issues about what's going on with the edition right here to the point where the game official discord has blocked chats on almost all channels but there is one place that is free for people to rant on about this horrible issue and that is the escape from tarkov reddit page and they stated that the gates are open right now and this is currently sitting at three and a half thousand upvotes and the thing about this reddit page is that they make sure to delete any form of repeated posts make sure your feed within the subreddit isn't just flooded with the same topic and over again but they, what they did here instead of like just go ahead let it all out guys let's hear it 780 comments later so like any logical game studio seeing such backlash to their pricing model and legit pay to win mechanics within their cool special special expensive edition they've actually backtracked a little bit on this but to the point where it's almost more insulting. Because in an official post on this subreddit, it talks about an update about your Edge of Darkness edition. And the insulting part is, is that they actually now have high priority matching for the Edge of, Edge of Darkness owners for six months 
within the PVE mode. So you paid like $120 to play Escape from Tarkov. You put the money in because you enjoyed the game. You know you're going to get your money's worth, but you only get six months access after all this outrage. So they're still gating that content for $250. And keep in mind how I said content, not a feature. And you know, they really messed up with this edition when you have other game companies and studios stand, stepping out and actually memeing on this entire thing. You see right here, Marek uh, Spenel, if I pronounce it correctly, he's the CEO of Bohemia Interactive, involved with, well, Daisy is kind of a really important game, and it's showing that they're suddenly a $250 Daisy starter pack, and it's already sold out, but if you check a look at what they're actually selling for $250, <laughs> again, again, this is a meme, this isn't an actual thing you can buy into, an apple and like some food and like a, a pet, like a gel panel glow stick or whatever. <laughs> also, Battle State Games made a Twitter post about this update on your Edge of Darkness edition, but the funny thing is, is that they got community noted on their own Twitter post about their own DLC, saying that Battle State Games promised their users that bought the Edge of Darkness free, complete access to all future DLC. Now are giving six months access, which is not the promised permanent access. Other community responses here from a uh, fellow friend Wardog here is saying, wait, so isn't this literally false advertising? Future DLC is kind of like 75% of the reason why I bought into the Edge of Darkness. And some more memes of like the Unseen Edition that are just being made, which is funny for $699. Again, this is a total meme. So you get like high tech goggles that let you see through walls. You get an extract phone number. You're just calling it taken out of the game for extraction. Like. It's like they're definitely uh, expanding on what the meme is with this whole thing, but you get the point. Or just like people are just not happy about this edition of Tarkov. We have another game, Incursion Red River, which says, damn, BSG locking PVE content behind a paywall. That's crazy. Anyways, and they showcase their game like, yeah, you can hop over here and play with us. That's going to be a great time, right? And this news couldn't come at a worse time for Escape from Tarkov as there's a strong competitor coming in, but we'll talk about that a little bit later in the video. So why did BSG turn coat on their audience? Why are they making such a crazy expensive item within the game that you have to buy into if you want to experience the full thing, especially a brand new mode of a PvE experience? Well, it seems like things have just completely changed over there at the studio. Uh, one thing, this one tweet aged like a uh, old cheese really if anything like that we're talking about like oh if you wanted to buy into like a beta or anything like that and then escape from talk of themselves says you don't need to buy anything at any stage if you have edge of darkness that previous expansion that guaranteed all dlc you don't have to even pay for dlcs in the future you are all in for it all coming well it seems like that escape from tarkov developer team might have some financial issues going on right now especially after a huge push of their previous pvp mode it's more like a battle arena kind of experience like kind of flop rilo if i pronounce that correctly talks about how their financial report of tarkov is showing that they made a lot of money by playing Tarkov and having all these new players come in, like millions of dollars came into the game. And they actually reviewed the business expenses from last year when it comes to Escape from Tarkov, showing that they've made a good amount of money. But the thing is that uh, it looks like a lot of that money went into marketing for the arena mode, which didn't exactly land. And while the player counts of this game are actually hidden at the moment, we can take a general idea of what the interest is with Tarkov Arena. And it's not good. It's not good at all. We saw a recent increase because of all the news that's been going on with Escape from Tarkov. They want to try out Arena. But before, like on the Twitch stats, we have like 115 people watching, less than 100 people watching at any given moment with roughly 20 to 30 channels at any point being live, sometimes as low as 12 actual channels streaming the Arena mode, which is a huge push from Battle State Games. So it, it kind of seems like they're trying to recoup a lot of lost money with the arena mode with uh, this new $250 edition locking content behind that paywall to then hopefully recoup that cost. But like, dude, that's just, that's not how you do it, chief. I feel like the reason why arena mode flopped, right? Because it was supposed to be kind of like a smaller, like 6v6, 4v4 kind of mode, like similar to you say, like from a Call of Duty experience like we have or typical other arena shooters out there. It's supposed to just give players a way to get into the game, experience the mechanics and the, and the way the gunplay works within the game to then hopefully jump into regular Escape from Tarkov. But you have it paywalled, which is one thing, have it be a standalone game experience 
that it just doesn't really fit the same vibe of what the core audience of a Tarkov is. This is clearly an attempt for them to try to expand their audience to have more people play Tarkov in general as more of a brand rather than a singular game. But the thing is that like this mode does not appeal to your core audience whatsoever because they're into like hardcore tactical military shooter. And this is much more of an arena type experience, almost like a call. Well, if you brought Call of Duty into Tarkov almost in a way, and it just doesn't really match the same vibes. And there's the crossover between the two modes just really isn't there. So it seems like to me, and I think a lot of other people out there who know a lot about the information, what's going on with the uh, Battle State games and their finances, that it seems like they're making up for their poor decisions of development of the game and placing that onto the player to get more money out of them, which, I mean, we know that's not turning out very well for them right now at the moment. Now that you're all caught up, we finally got some important news about Tarkov and its pricing model, which is currently insane at the moment. But finally, we got some feedback from the developers talking about the PVE access, the feature, right? Not downloadable content saying we have decided to just open it for EOD owners for free, but we will do it in waves. As I said before, we don't have the server capacity right now. We will start this process as soon as possible. They did state that they're not gonna be removing that $250 unheard edition, but they will take a look into balancing items, perks for the edition as well. But see, sometimes internet outrage is a good thing. And this really couldn't come at a worse time for Battle State Games because there is this new game coming around that's kind of like that scene from The Wedding Singer with John Lovitz, right? Where he's watching Adam Sandler's character lose his mind. He's like, he's losing his mind and I'm reaping all the benefits. And that game being Gray Zone Warfare. It's an extraction shooter that's currently being made by a smaller studio out there. They have had some play tests go out. It looks very interesting for an extraction shooter. Again, kind of going with that mill sim survival type of thing that Tarkov also is doing as well. But this is done in the Unreal Engine and they're looking to do a early access release similar to Tarkov. Just keep in mind, Tarkov is still in early access and it's been out for years. Very playable and you're dropping hundreds of dollars to play the game. I don't know. I don't feel like that's early access at all to me. Now I've kept my eye on this game and it seems like they're kind of doing a lot of things right with Gray Zone Warfare, especially with the pricing. At the time of recording this video, they say on Monday on YouTube, they'll premiere a re early access release date along with an exclusive trailer. Perfect timing for drop the news about your newly hyped game. But they also announced the pricing model behind it. And it seems rather fair. Where the entry level to play Grey Zone Warfare will be $35. Same thing as say like a Helldiver's price model as well, right? So that kind of makes a whole lot of sense there. And yeah, like the special edition, tactical super plus good editions will give you a little bit bigger stash, a little bit larger locker and things like that. But it's not like a massive advantage compared to what you have with Tarkov, right? Or Tarkov, they're like, hey, these guys who can kill you and you can lose everything in the game, they just won't shoot you if you have a high enough reputation. This edition gives you a boost, which just seems horribly unfair. Now you might say to yourself, Kevin, but they're also charging you super plus good expensive editions. Why is this company better than the other one which with Escape from Tarkov? Well, Tarkov has millions of people playing this where Grey Zone Warfare still needs to recoup their costs and the CEO of the game definitely went into the details about that as well, saying that they're selling for roughly 35 euros. So after tax deduction, deductions, Steam fees, your Unreal licensing, they end up with around 50% of what the price was to the player. So they get about $17 per sale. And then also from that, we cover initial investment, server costs, outgoing traffic, backend, voice uh, chat, anti-cheat, etc. So to me, it looks like you can play Grey Zone Warfare for roughly $35, $40 and get a similar type of experience. And keep in mind the full experience of Grey Zone Warfare or the standard edition of Tarkov for $50, which doesn't give you the full experience of what the game has to offer. So I'm just saying that there is one game out there I'm a little more excited about than jumping into playing Tarkov. Now, if you guys made it this far into the video, I appreciate Appreciate it. Like and subscribe. I hope I earned that one for me, guys. And make sure you subscribe to keep up to date with all their gaming news going on. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.